Picture this, a cozy evening, the soft glow of the screen, and the timeless allure of a classic movie. Now, cast your mind back to that first rendezvous with the 1954 cinematic gem, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Do you recall the sensation, that curious blend of nostalgia and discovery as the film unfolded? Perhaps it was the toe-tapping melodies that stitched themselves into the fabric of your memories, or the rugged charm of the Pontipi brothers, etching themselves onto the canvas of your cinematic journey. In the tapestry of movie experiences, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers stands as a vibrant thread, weaving its way through time and generations. The flicker of the black and white screen or the vivid hues of a restored version, each frame carries a resonance that transcends the years. Maybe it was the first dance sequence that left you breathless or the comedic interludes that provoked laughter that still echoes in the corridors of your recollection. As we embark on a journey through the lesser-known facets of this cinematic masterpiece, let's revisit that initial encounter. Allow the film's essence to wash over you, transporting you back to that moment of cinematic revelation. The memories, like old friends, are waiting to be revisited, and the anecdotes of this cinematic gem are poised to breathe new life into your appreciation for it. Now, let's dive into the depths of random facts, unraveling the layers that make Seven Brides for Seven Brothers a time-honored classic. Behind every scene lies a tale, and behind every melody, a symphony of untold stories. So, buckle up for a cinematic exploration that promises to peel back the curtain on the hidden gems of this beloved film. And there you have it, a seamless transition from reminiscing about your first encounter with Seven Brides for Seven Brothers to the anticipation of uncovering hidden treasures about the film. Stay tuned for a rendezvous with the unexpected, the delightful, and the intriguing facets that make this classic and enduring masterpiece. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, a 1954 film directed by Stanley Donen, is a musical that seamlessly weaves romance, humor, and dance into a captivating narrative. Inspired by the short story The Sobbin' Women by Stephen Vincent Bent, the film is a joyful exploration of love and family dynamics in the rugged Oregon frontier of the 1850s. The story follows Adam Pontipi, played by Howard Keel, who marries Millie, portrayed by Jane Powell, after a whirlwind courtship. Upon bringing Millie home to his six unruly brothers, she takes it upon herself to civilize the rowdy bunch. The film's unique twist emerges when the brothers, eager for romance themselves, decide to follow Adam's lead and court local girls. The movie's highlight is undoubtedly the energetic dance sequences, choreographed by Michael Kidd, showcasing the exuberance of the era. The infectious enthusiasm of the cast, coupled with a lively score, makes Seven Brides for Seven Brothers an enduring classic. Its impact on popular culture endures, influencing subsequent musicals and leaving an indelible mark on the genre. This cinematic gem remains a testament to the timeless appeal of love, family, and the joy of dance. In the 1954 film Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Jeff Richards, a former professional baseball player, found himself cast as one of the titular brothers, despite lacking prowess in dancing. Interestingly, he wasn't alone in this regard. Howard Keel, another brother in the ensemble, was primarily known as an actor and singer, not a dancer. The film's iconic avalanche scene, a highlight of the production, was shot at Corral Creek Canyon in Sun Valley, Idaho. This picturesque location lent a breathtaking backdrop to the cinematic spectacle that remains etched in the memories of audiences. Julie Newmer, credited as Julie Newmeyer in the film, played the role of Dorcas. Though a skilled dancer, her talents were not showcased as her dance partner, Jeff Richards, was a former baseball player with no dancing background. It's a curious twist that deprived the audience of witnessing Newmer's dancing prowess on the big screen. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers of intrigue to the classic musical, revealing unexpected details about the cast's diverse talents and the cinematic craftsmanship that went into creating memorable moments, such as the avalanche scene. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers stands as a testament to the versatility of its cast and the ingenuity of its filmmakers, turning a baseball player into a dancer and showcasing the scenic beauty of Idaho in a pivotal scene. Unveiling the naming journey of a classic, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers in 1954, MGM executives navigated a delicate path in christening the iconic movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Originally, the film was poised to bear the title of its source material short story, The Sobbin' Women. 
However, skepticism loomed large among the executives, doubting the audience's interest in a film with such a name. A swift shift ensued, and the movie briefly adopted the moniker A Bride for Seven Brothers. Alas, the censors deemed it too risk, prompting a final tweak to the now familiar Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Director Stanley Donan unraveled another layer of the film's history, recounting that producer Jack Cummings initially planned to infuse existing American folk songs into the musical fabric of the movie. Months of fruitless searching for the right tunes led to a decisive pivot, the birth of an original score commissioned for the production. Amidst the harmonious cadence of the film, a note of contention arose with the censors. The lyrics of the song Lonesome Polecat included a line where the brothers lamented, a man can't sleep when he sleeps with sheep. Sensing the potential disapproval, the filmmakers employed a strategic cinematic maneuver. By never featuring the brothers and sheep in the same shot, they deftly sidestepped the censor's concerns. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers waltzed into cinematic history, a name sculpted through considerations of audience appeal, regulatory caution, and a musical metamorphosis. A timeless tale with a title forged in the crucible of industry insights and creative choices. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Stanley Donan's cinematic challenge in 1954. Stanley Donan faced an unexpected challenge while directing Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Embracing the widescreen revolution of cinema scope, Donan aimed to make the most of the technology in a tale that featured seven brides and seven brothers, necessitating a crowded screen. However, the studio's tight budget clashed with the limited availability of CinemaScope screens in theaters. To overcome this hurdle, Donan had to shoot the film twice once for a widescreen version, and once for a less extreme version. The extra effort meant reshooting scenes, adjusting marks, altering lighting, and additional post-production work. Donan recalled, I had to shoot and cut everything twice, restage scenes, put in a different set of marks, light it differently, loop it. The studio, trying to cut corners, ended up investing an unexpected $500,000 into the production. Despite the financial strain, Donan maximized every inch of the frame, showcasing the visual impact of CinemaScope. The technology allowed for a grand portrayal of the sprawling musical, although the financial repercussions underscored the complexities of adapting to new cinematic tools. The cast, however, found joy in the challenge. Howard Keel, who played Adam, the eldest brother, expressed contentment with most aspects of the production, but had disagreements about his character. He objected to Adam reprising the song When You're In Love, feeling it didn't align with the character's understanding of love at that point in the film. Keel also resisted singing a soliloquy number in a winter cabin, citing its similarity to a scene from Carousel. These disagreements led to the departure of the original writers, Albert Hackett and Francis Goodrich, with Dorothy Kingsley stepping in to complete the script. Heel defended his stance, stating, I'm sorry about the original script writers walking away, but I think I was right, and Jack Cummings agreed with me. The disagreements, though challenging, became a footnote in the making of a film that continues to be celebrated for its energetic musical numbers and captivating choreography. In retrospect, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers stands as a testament to Stanley Donan's ingenuity in adapting to new cinematic technologies, even at the cost of unforeseen financial burdens and creative differences within the cast. And so, the tale of Seven Brides and Seven Brothers unfolds not only on screen but also behind the scenes, a vibrant snapshot of Hollywood in the age of technological evolution. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the timeless classic Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, let us take a moment to reflect on the threads of connection this 1954 masterpiece has woven into our lives. This iconic musical exudes a certain charm, a magic that transcends generations, inviting us to cherish the beauty of love, family, and the power of music. Perhaps you first encountered the film in the warmth of your grandparents' living room, or you stumbled upon it during a lazy Sunday afternoon on your own. Maybe it's the delightful melodies, the rustic charm of the Oregon backcountry, or the exuberant dance sequences that have etched themselves into your memory. Or, just maybe, the timeless tale of love and familial bonds continues to resonate with you to this day. As you reflect on your personal connection with Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, we invite you to share your cherished memories, favorite scenes, or the moments when the movie's heartwarming spirit touched your own. 
Have you ever tried to dance like the Pontipi brothers? Or has the film inspired a family tradition of your own? Your stories, thoughts, and feelings are like the vibrant colors that paint the canvas of this classic, enriching its legacy. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of emotions that the film has elicited in audiences for decades. Thank you for joining us in this cinematic journey and for sharing your connection to Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Your passion and love for this film are a testament to its enduring appeal and the shared joy it brings to all who experience it. Until our next cinematic adventure, take a moment to cherish the memories and the magic of this 1954 gem. And remember, your connection to this classic is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. With gratitude for your time and interest.